Trying to quantify into words how the nicest job in Britain has been for me is probably one of the hardest things I'll ever have to do. See, the thing is, I, I can't really explain how I feel because the nicest job in Britain has changed my life. It's been far beyond a job. It's been pretty much my way of life for a whole year. You know, I've, I've lived in hotels and I've traveled to almost every single county in this country and visited so many incredible people, causes, charities, organizations, and every single one of them do something which is vital for this country. So the truth of the matter is, when I sit here and try and quantify how my year has been into words, I, I go silent, I go blank, and I don't really know what to say. And that's a rarity for me, because normally most of you who have met me know that I can talk for England. But when I try and sit and think exactly how I feel, it's hard. Because the truth is, there are so many different emotions that I do feel, that picking just one to quantify the nicest job in Britain is too hard. So this blog is a summary of how I feel about the nicest job in Britain, but more importantly, it's a thank you. It's a thank you to every single person that has seen me through this journey. Every single person that has welcomed me with open arms into their organisation. Every single person that goes out of their way to help other people. And every single person that has inspired me to keep going. It's because of you that the nicest job in Britain has been such an incredible year. And one that I will never, ever forget. So this is a thank you. A thank you to all of those people, all of those organisations, and a thank you to UA for making this happen. We have had the most incredible year. So incredible that when we had our ITV Real Stories documentary back in August, we all sat around a table and looked at each other and thought, we can't stop this. We have set a ball in motion that's so powerful that it would just be something that we couldn't stop and we couldn't walk away from. So I know a lot of you are waiting out there with bated breath for my next moves. And actually, I'm here to tell you that my next move is to continue with The Nicest Job in Britain, but in a very different way. See, The Nicest Job in Britain will now be a not-for-profit organisation. You'll see recruitment going up early next year for the competition for The Nicest Job in Britain post for the National Philanthropy Manager. And we will be announcing all of the new charities that are signing up as of January. I'll be heading up The Nicest Job in Britain and overseeing all of the work that's going to be done, but we are going to continue making a change that we've already started doing. There will be 40 new charities in the new year, with one new person to take on the role to go around and help them. They will be followed and video blogging and continuing the Nicest Job in Britain blog, but we will continue the work that we have been doing, and it's because of you guys that we are doing that. And I am so thankful for every single person that has been there for me throughout the whole of this journey. It's a bittersweet ending because on the one hand I finish my charity visits but on the other hand we get to continue and do more. I will continue doing all of my work and I will continue working with every single person that I have met this year and I will continue extending my kindness to everybody whether they need it in whatever circumstance. So this is a goodbye from me for Christmas but not a goodbye from the nicest job in Britain. I will still continue to video blog and I will still continue to write but those reins will be um, passed over to a new person in the new year and I hope that you enjoy their blogs going forward. Please read below, this is my final blog and this is a thank you to every single person. So this one's for you guys. Have a Merry Christmas. <laughs>